What's up everyone, it's Hey John and Voyager. They have just announced that they will be issuing a notice of default to Three Arrows Capital. That is huge because this is the ch -ch -ch nail in the coffin that Three Arrows Capital may be and just will be going insolvent because they are unable to service their debt to Voyager. 3AC, 3 Arrow Capital, they have a loan amount to Voyager for about 15,000 Bitcoins and 350 million USDC. Voyager Digital provides market update. The company has access $75 million of the letter of credit made available by Alameda and may continue to make use of the Alameda facilities to facilitate customer orders and withdrawals as needed. The default of 3AC does not cause a default in the agreement with Alameda. Whew. That is some good news for the people who use Voyager for their cryptocurrency training, whether you're on ramping or off ramping. This means that, well, you are saved for now. But in my opinion, but if I were all of you and you currently use Voyager, move your crypto your usdc usdt whatever it may be move it off onto a private DeFi wallet that's what i personally did because when i see all of these notice of defaults and now they're going into other lenders to float them well ladies and gentlemen it's only a matter of time and you know what i'd rather be safe than sorry don't get me wrong voyager is a great platform but when you see them going into other loans and they look like they're teeter-tottering. Well, you know what? I don't need that risk in my life right now because cryptocurrency is already as risky as it needs to be. You do not need to worry about your central exchange and whether or not they will be here or tomorrow. Voyager Digital plunges on three arrows exposure. One of the most prominent crypto hedge funds just defaulted on a $670 million loan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the contagion in the cryptocurrency markets. Right now you're seeing all the small banks just falling over, toppling over. The largest one, the one I like to call Lehman Brothers, Tether, USDT. That is the one that you do not want to see fall apart. If it does, then ladies and gentlemen, we will be seeing capitulation to a degree that you've never seen in your cryptocurrency life before. But at the same time, it gets me excited because, well, there will be amazing opportunities to be had if and when that happens. So today the markets are literally in the toilets because we're seeing three arrows capital. They are literally defaulting on a huge loan. 15,000 Bitcoins is not chum change. At least it's not to me. $350 million in USDC. Is not chump change. Well, at least not to me. So when you see this happen, folks, you're seeing so much money outflow of cryptocurrency and you're seeing so many people spooked from these headlines. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you one thing, folks. Right now, just right now, this means that we are seeing cryptocurrency being brought to its knees. And when do you want to buy cryptocurrency? When do you want to buy stocks? When it's red, when it's green and elated, that's when you want to sell. Now, I'm not telling you guys what to do, but understand that if you feel hesitant to buy, like say today when it's red, chances are that is the best time to buy. Because if you're scared thinking, oh, it'll probably go down lower and lower and lower and lower. Well, you know what? That could happen. But when you buy at a discount, you are more likely to see it appreciate. And when it appreciates, you will make a lot more money. And of course, folks, I want to emphasize, this is not financial advice. This is just using some good old common sense. Think of it this way, folks. You're going to Target right here, right? You see a sale in a weekly ad. You can buy this TV for $100 off. And after the last day of the sale, the following week, that TV is no longer on sale. And now it's increased its price by $100. This is the exact same idea, but of course the timing isn't as fixed. So Voyager has issued a notice of default to 3AC. So what is a notice of default? Simply put, all it means is that, you know what? I'm giving you a warning. Hey buddy, 
if you don't pay up those 15k BTC and 350 million USDC, well, I'm going to have to come in and take back my assets. 3AC says, yeah, cool, man. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. But the thing here is that if 3AC is insolvent, and by the time Voyager has access to reap and claw back their assets, well, if 3AC has nothing, if you're going to claw back nothing, well, you probably will get nothing. Simple as that. The current price of Voyager token is down 16% as of the recording for today. It's at 31 cents. Do you know why that 31 cents, folks? Because Voyager is looking to be unstable. And like I said, folks, you don't want your money on a platform that is unstable. Even if you are not staking on Voyager, if you're just holding your coins there, your tokens there, well, again, I want to emphasize, I suggest taking it out, putting it somewhere on DeFi. Somewhere where you are the sole custodian, the sole owner of your tokens. Basic users of the platform was about 440,000 as of February 4th of 2021. Customer trades increased in January by 5x up to $840 million in December 2020. The reason why I want to put these figures because these are the latest figures from Voyager. I know it's kind of old, but still though, imagine 440,000 people who are affected by this who could potentially lose all their crypto. And what do I mean by losing your crypto? Just by leaving your crypto there, if Voyager goes whoop, belly up or disappears overnight, well, ladies and gentlemen, your crypto is gone overnight. That means that your crypto is gone for evers and evers and you will never ever see it again. Now, I am not saying that CEX is a bad thing, Central exchanges serve a purpose. They're great for off wrapping and unwrapping particular tokens. A lot of people use a central exchange for its convenience, logging in, being able to buy and sell really quickly, and not worrying about your keys. That's fantastic. It's great to on ramp and off ramp and do some trading. But when you see the platform having some possibilities of being insolvent, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to jump ship. I know I've said this multiple times, but I'm issuing a warning to you guys because I don't want to see some people here who watch me. I don't want you to be part of the 440,000 plus people who may be affected by this. Voyager cryptocurrency disclosures. Cryptocurrency held on Voyager is not protected by FDIC. Cryptocurrencies are not regulated or are lightly regulated in most countries, including the United States. However, one or more countries may take regulatory actions that could severely restrict the right to acquire, own, hold, sell, or use cryptocurrencies, which would adversely impact their value. Voyager may be forced to suspend or discontinue the ability to purchase or sell cryptocurrencies without notice. Your ability to purchase cryptocurrencies through Voyager is contingent on Voyager's ability to source such cryptocurrencies from third party providers. Therefore, Voyager makes no promises regarding the timing or ability to purchase cryptocurrencies using the Voyager's platform. There is more to read there. I only read what I thought was pertinent, but basically everything I read to you said that Voyager is not liable for anything. And they're saying it is what it is. It's a wild west. You may make some, you may lose some, and if it gets cut off immediately, well, tough beans, guys, tough beans. That's why I keep encouraging you, ladies and gentlemen, to get your crypto off of central exchanges onto a DeFi wallet. Because even if that crypto can no longer trade, well, if it's in your wallet, you can still swap it on, say, PancakeSwap, Uniswap, or whatever swap there is. And you can still get some value for it, folks. So this is why you want to make sure you are the gatekeeper of your crypto, folks. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Shh.